we're going to do now is we're going to shoot over to the desktop and we're going to go over to power pivot let's click yes now power pivot has its own configuration tool it's going to go through examine the system and after it's completed doing that it'll allow us to actually do a configure or repair and of course we need to do a configure there are some setups that we still need to do to make sure everything's okay so let's click OK now that all the validations have gone through let's bring up our power pivot configuration tool let's maximize this so we can all see it so we need to turn around and we need to set up some things for it and one of those is what are we going to use as a default account now we can leave it as setup but we're going to have to come in and we're going to have to give it the password. We're also going to have to give it where Power Pivot is. Remember, it's on SQL 1 with the instance name of Power Pivot. All right, let's click Validate. Now, validation has succeeded for all the actions we have selected. Let's click OK and let's click Run. Now all this is going to be applied to the SharePoint farm. So we do want to continue. We want to make sure that it actually pushes all of this out and goes to Excel and attaches itself. So let's click Yes. Now while this is doing it, could we have gone through and taken care of most of this ourselves internally? The answer is yes. Between PowerShell and Central Administration, we could have. But Power Pivot Configuration Tool gives us just that little bit easier ease of use where it'll actually go through, get the information for us, find out you know, where Excel services is running, and so on and so forth. That way we can set it all up just by using the configuration tool. Configuration tool is also great because it's not going to forget anything, not like we are. And you're going to notice that it's going through the farm, checking the service instances, making sure dependencies are there, configuring the secure store, and Excel services. I mean, so it's taking care of everything. We never have to worry about it unless it errors. But that's better than us going through manually trying to do all of these single steps and going, well, did I miss one? And, you know, there are times you're going to miss one. Look at me. I didn't click Add Current User. A simple little tiny mistake like that. But that happens. It happens to all of us. And that's just a normal fact of life. So this is really kind of good for it because after all the stuff we're doing inside of SharePoint, once we get to start bringing in things like Power Pivot and that, I mean, we've got so much in our poor little brains that they're going to explode. So what I'm going to do here is it's going to take a couple more minutes to go through and actually set everything up. So we're going to pause for a sec. That way you don't have to watch this green bar grow all the way to the end. And I'll be back as soon as it's finished. I'll see you in just a moment. Well, that's it. We completed successfully. That's perfect. That's exactly, again, what we want to see. Now, I know I get excited every time I see that it completes successfully, and I know what we're, the steps we're doing are exactly right, but these are computers. These are going to mess with us every so often randomly. So whenever I see it completed, I'm just kind of like, yes! All right, let's click OK. We've completed here, so we can click Exit. Power Pivot is now installed, configured, and completely set up and ready to go for Global Mantics.